Hey everyone, I wanted to make a quick video on a LiPo battery life hack that I recently came across. One of the issues I've been facing is not having enough battery packs once I get out into the field to keep flying, and it's kind of difficult to charge LiPos while you're on the go. Now, I've seen a couple of people bringing out uh, generators or full-on car batteries to the field with them, but I wanted a more portable solution to the problem. Now all the items that I talk about in this video can be found in links in the description below and if you find this info to be helpful I'd really appreciate you throwing a like on the video. Before I get started I wanted to mention that I'm not responsible for any of the methods that you choose regarding lipo charging. Uh, charging these things in general can be dangerous and you should always make sure you take the proper precautions and never leave a char charging battery unattended. This is just a simple design that I came up with that I've had really good results with to date. So I was doing a little research into portable power options, and this is the design that I, I decided to make. I started by looking at the back of my uh, LiPo charger. This one is a B6. It's one of the cheapest ones that you can get. And you can see here that the input voltage on this is anywhere between 11 and 18 volts of direct current. Now your wall pr provides AC power, AC alternating current at 110 volts which is then run through a power adapter or an inverter shown here and that just converts it to 12 volts of direct current um, which is what this charger and actually a bunch of your household items are run on. So we know what voltage range is acceptable for the charger and what I did is I took a couple of my older LiPos that they were previously used in an old uh, plane that I was flying but they started to puff and bulge and I deemed them unsafe for, for flight. The last thing I wanted to see was my aircraft burst into flames while it was up there. So these are retired battery packs um, and I, I just found that this is a good use for them. So what I did is I wired these uh, two four cell uh, 5000 milliamp hour batteries in parallel. So I connected the red to red and the black to black. This, in essence, doubles the capacity of the battery while keeping the output voltage the same. Now this is just what I chose to do. If you wanted, you could power your charger just off of one of these LiPos. You could power it off a 3-cell LiPo or a 4-cell. Um, you just have to remember that the input voltage to the charger has to be between 11 and 18 volts. Now you could wire one of these batteries up, up to a million of these batteries in parallel. It just depends on how much capacity you want and how many batteries you're intending to charge in the field. If you can carry a million batteries out there, I'm, I'm sure you could fly forever. So the ones that I chose to use were these 4S LiPos. That's four single cells that are wired in series with 5,000 milliamp hour um, capacity. So. Um, 5,000 milliamp hour just says that we could discharge 5 amps out of one of these batteries for one hour in order to give us a complete discharge or 10 amps out of the total battery that I made for one hour. Now the packs that I fly with, so the packs that actually go in my aircraft are 1300 milliamp hour 4 cell. And I figure that I can charge anywhere from 5 or 6 of these batteries in the field with this setup. What you want to make sure to do is not over discharge the batteries that are powering your charger. And to do this I just attached a low voltage alarm to the balance line on one of these batteries. That way it'll chirp at me before I do any further damage to these bulging uh, 4 cell batteries. So here's what my final setup looks like. Um, it's nice because it's easy to fit in the bottom of my FPV bag. After I get done with uh, a flight I could go ahead and, and unplug that battery, plug it into this, and while I'm flying my other batteries, I've got this one charging uh, behind me. Now again, I just want to make sure before I leave you that uh, you know that I'm not responsible in any way um, for how you guys charge to <laughs> choose to charge your LiPos. Um, make sure these things are not unattended. Again, this is just a design that I came up with that's been working excellent for me, and I haven't had any hiccups. So if you found this video to be helpful, um, please be sure to throw a like on the video and subscribe. And if you have any other wiring questions, leave them below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.